Hello everyone, my name is Om Sagasa. This is Navigation Drawer 2017. In this video, I will talk about how to use a lot dialog in Fragment in Android. Okay, let's go to Android. Assume that you have the Navigation Drawer like this already. Okay, it's very simple. If you don't, maybe you should look at another tutorial of mine. And now, let's say you have a button and you want to open, you know, like click on the button and then you will show an alert dialog like that so let's go to the second one gallery i had a fragment already assume that you have uh, the fragment so this is the fragment and this is the layout for the fragment um, gallery okay so maybe uh, we should create another button And because now I use frame layout, I should convert to constraint layout. Um, I have this uh, option because I use Android uh, 2.3, which include the constraint layout, which is a new um, layout for the Android right now. And click on this, and here we have to click on the constraint like that. So this is the new button, and maybe just show. Dialog. You have to click on yes here and you can uh, tick do not ask like that. It's very important because it will um, make the button very um, unique and there will be no duplicate name in another activity. Okay, it's a little bit advanced here but just uh, check the yes. And now just change the name of the button a little bit. Show dialog. Okay, we will use this button. So let's go to Fragment Gallery here. Gallery Fragment. In case you don't know how to get the code from the um, Fragment, uh, let me delete this first. Let me just comment it. Usually you will see like this. Return, okay? Uh, that is your code, okay? So, to get the button from your fragment, you have to uh, get the, the view. So we have this declare V of view like that. And then now you can return V instead, okay? The important part here is that V now, you can use to call a method uh, find view by ID, okay? If you want to know more detail about the find view by ID in fragment, I suggest that you go watch another tutorial of mine in the in the same playlist i think okay so now you can call the button show dialog and clear the button just like usual okay so now set on click listener new okay so this is the place that you will show the other dialog so call alert dialog and builder and just call it alert new no, builder uh, very easy if you type like that and here um, you just call get context okay so some people ask me like when we use get context and sometimes we uh, call get activity so it depends on the data type of the parameter here. If the parameter need only the context, then you just pass the context. For example, in this uh, particular example, builder need only the context, and toast as well need only the context. So you just uh, call the get context. But for example, another uh, problem like you want to open another class, you will use intent. So intent need to an activity not the context okay so uh, the best way to, to understand that is just go to Android library and check the that type of the parameter here let me show you a real quick okay just type a lot dialog Android like that and you will see um, the library no this is not library I think the second one is the library yeah the okay now this is the library and just go click on the builder here see that so the data type here is context 
So it's very clear if it is a contact, just call get contact. Okay, uh, very simple. Okay, now alert dialog, and you can set a message. And this one just for some example. So let's maybe um, set a neutral button. And just like that. okay. And here is your uh, activity. So new and control space. And now you need another dialog on click listener so choose on click listener again so here is uh, another on click listener in a um, on click listener so okay so don't be confused that this is just for the alert dialog only now just um, maybe another toll okay so here we need only the contacts okay so just like this okay so finally, you have to call a method called show. If you don't call that method, then there will be no alert dialog. Okay. So don't forget this method. Okay. Let's run it. Okay. The button here is the alert dialog. And click OK. Then uh, post message go display. Okay. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, give a thumbs up to this video. And if you have any question or doubt, please comment down below. Thank you and I will see you in the next video.